I'm going to go over the process of resetting an Active Directory administrator password. So to start, I'm connected to my domain controller and I have mounted the Windows Server installation media. And I'm just going to restart the machine and then boot into the install media. Now that I've booted into the install media, we can press next and then repair your computer. And then go to troubleshoot and then command prompt. All of the commands that I use in this video will be linked in the blog post in the description. So within the command prompt, we need to check our volumes and uh, make sure that our Windows install volume has a drive letter. So to do that, we can open up disk part and then type um, list volume. Now that we can see all of the volumes that are attached to our machine, and the one I'm looking for is this 39 gigabyte partition or volume, this 39 gigabyte volume, uh, which is the one that has my installation of Windows installed on. So now I've identified the correct volume, we can do select volume one and then do assign letter equals C, which will assign it a drive letter C. So if we go back to list volume, we can now see volume one is the C drive. Now we just need to exit disk part and type C colon. And if we do a directory, we can get, uh, we can see that our windows is installed in this directory. Now what we need to do is change to C. So if we do a CD and go to C windows system, 32. And then what we can do is we can rename the on screen keyboard executable to osk.old by running uh, this command. And then what we need to do is copy the PowerShell executable, place it into system32, and call it osk.exe. So if we do copy, see Windows system32. Um, Windows PowerShell version one and then powershell.exe. So we'll copy that file and then place it into the current directory and call it osk.exe. So now we've um, copied the PowerShell executable, placed it into system32 and named it osk.exe. So now when we run the on-screen keyboard, it should in theory run the command prompt. So, sorry, it should in theory run PowerShell. So we can close our command prompt window and do continue to Windows Server. Now we are back in our Windows Server. We can do Control or Delete to the logon screen and come down to the right hand side and click ease of access and then on screen keyboard. And if we've done this right, it should open PowerShell, which it has. So now all we need to do is reset the password and we can that by typing net user administrator. And then the password we want to set, which in this case is just password one, two, three exclamation mark. Now, just to show you this does work, we can do password one, two, three exclamation mark, and it says password is incorrect. However, if we run this command, do the same password again, it lets us in and we are logged into our domain administrator account. Now, what you want to do is if you've got multiple domain controllers, you want to open up Active Directory users and computers and then create a new user and just call this um, new admin next, give it a password and then add it to the administrators and domain admin security group just because depending on which way the wind's blowing. If you have multiple domain controllers in your domain, uh, we've just reset the one on a single 
um, domain controller. However, sometimes that password then gets overwritten by the password, the administrator password that is on other domain controllers. So just to make sure we don't lock ourselves out again, we've just created a new administrator account, which we can use temporarily to unlock the other user accounts, um, create some uh, break glass accounts to make sure we don't get locked out again. Now, that's all you really need to do. Well, the last thing you will want to do though is go to your C Windows System 32 folder and then look for OSK. So this OSK file is our PowerShell file, which we well, which we renamed. So we'll just want to delete that. And then if you want, you can boot into the uh, installation media again and just rename this OSK file to osk.exe but I don't believe it lets you do this within Windows it'll just give you an error even if you try uh, as an administrator um, yeah it gives you access denied so you have to do that outside of Windows but it doesn't really matter because I'm assuming people aren't using the on-screen keyboard on a domain controller so that is how you essentially break into an Active Directory domain using the domain controller and force resetting the administrator password.